They are one of the country's most advanced stealth fighter jets, the F-35, and the city of Madison is one of the final five cities in the running to play host. Hello, everyone. Thanks for joining us tonight at 10. Another city vying for the F-35s is trying to give Madison a run for its money. According to a blog in the Spokesman Review, Idaho Governor Butch Otter is asking for $100,000 just to lobby for the F-35. Our Keeley Arthur spoke to Wisconsin Governor Scott Walker to see what he will do to get the F-35 here, Keeley. Well, Governor Walker says he would pay that 100 grand or more to get the to get the F-35s here to the 115 fighter wing. But the governor and Madison officials say they think our city will be chosen for other reasons. When it comes to securing the F-35s, Wisconsin is going full throttle. We've got representatives working the federal level. We have representatives working the state level. You know, we have three people on staff that are spending a significant amount of time on this. That's because the Jets will breathe new life into the base, ensuring the $100 million annual economic impact the city gets from having the National Guard would continue. It's not just a benefit to Dane County and to Truex, but it also helps Volk Field, Fort McCoy, and the refueling wing at General Mitchell in Milwaukee. And so you have a statewide economic opportunity here as well. Perks other states want too. According to a report, Idaho Governor Butch Otter is asking for 100 grand in citizen money to lobby the Air Force to station the F-35s at the Mountain Home Air Force Base near Boise, seen here. But that doesn't worry Wisconsin Governor Scott Walker. If you look at the time it takes and the fuel that would be burned uh, to go to the re restricted airspace that we have just moments away from here in Madison, you look at the air refueling potential because of the 128th air refueling ring out of Milwaukee. There's just so many benefits that make the compelling case to be here in Wisconsin. And with $100,000 already raised in Madison by the private sector, according to the Chamber of Commerce, President Zach Brandon is confident the jets will land here. That this is the best place in the country to base the F-35 for National Guard purposes. Montgomery, Alabama, Jacksonville, Florida, Detroit, Michigan, Boise, Idaho, and of course, Madison, Wisconsin are all vying for those jets. The Air Force will narrow down the list once again this summer. If we are chosen, the F-35s will arrive here in 2022.